It is no secret that there are many types of animals people find incredibly cute. Some animals are so adorable that humans go out of their way to domesticate and take care of them. A great example would be the majority's favorites, cats and dogs. However, apart from commonly adored pets, there are plenty of wild animals that are no less cute than their domesticated friends. Even though they aren't sitting on your laptop while you're working on a project, the loveliness of some of the wild nature inhabitants is fascinating. Of course, if you have a pet you find it the cutest creature possibly existing, however, there are definitely animals out there that you wouldn't even think of when it comes to adorableness. So, let's take a look at some of our little, or not really, friends, both wild and domesticated and share your thoughts on whether or not those guys are cutiepies. Ducklings. Ducklings are the cutest of all baby birds. Moreover, these super adorable creatures stay cute even after they grow up. They're very social and friendly and would always stick around cuddling. How cute is that? These fluffy guys really love you back when you fall in love with them. Ducks are very cool to have as a pet. Also, have you ever seen a duck bathe? Adorable. And, interestingly, it is believed that humans subconsciously tend to find things that look naive to be cute. However, ducks are as clever as they are cute. These domestic birds aren't only able to learn quickly but also have a cognitive ability to perform very seemingly advanced cognitive tasks as soon as entering the world. So, you know. What could a cute little duck do? Beware of ducks. Owls. These beautiful night birds look very cute because they have large eyes, flat faces, and tiny beaks which even gives them a human-like appearance. People tend to get attracted to things that look similar to them. And thanks to Harry Potter's pet snowy owl Hedwig, nowadays owls enchanted humans more than ever before. And it's adorable how they rotate their heads around 270 degrees too. Owls are amazing and very powerful beasts. Alongside cuteness, they are virtuous assassins. What a cute murderer, huh? Despite this, they only kill to eat, not for fun. Oh, and also, did you know a group of owls is called Parliament as they are considered wise? Kiwis. There is no scale of cuteness, however, if you want to pet somebody really bad, it rings a bell. These guys are the iconic symbol of New Zealand. They are cute, smart, and rather unique. Kiwis are flightless birds, however, that doesn't stop them from getting around super fast. They have developed heavy leg bones filled with marrow similar to humans. These furry potatoes are very soft. They're fluffy, hair-like feathers help them camouflage in the woods. Kiwi does not fly and therefore does not migrate. By the way, it's still a mystery how Kiwi reached New Zealand. One of the guesses is that their ancestors happened to already be there, while the second debate is that the Kiwi's ancestors flew from island to island to reach New Zealand. And the most exciting one is that Kiwi walked from island to island as the land rose and fell, eventually arriving in New Zealand. That would be impressive, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, these birds are in danger due to reduced habitats along with human hunting and natural predators. There are approximately 68,000 left in the wild and every week, numbers decrease. Protect these cuties. Capybaras. The capybara is a giant rodent native to South America and is the world's largest rodent. These guys are super chill. Capybaras live in gatherings of 10 to 20 and are incredibly social, therefore they have a tendency to coexist with everybody so well. Seriously, no doubt most of us have seen photos of capybaras cuddling with monkeys, people, ravens, cats, and many others, on the internet. Capybaras also hang out with birds as the rodent's back is a great place to sit. Moreover, these guys are very communicative and make cool sounds including teeth chattering, squealing, whining, whistling, crying, barking, and clicking, isn't that amazing? And how cute, the little capybaras almost never shut up, just imagine that. And of course, these animals would be great pets as they are accommodating and friendly to humans too. However, you should get a swimming pool because capybaras love to swim. Quokkas. Also known as the short-tailed scrub wallaby, the quokka is a small macropod about the size of a domestic cat and is the only member of the genus Cetonyx. The main and the most obvious reason for its ultimate cuteness is its smiling face. This happiest critter on the planet lives in the southwest of Australia. These small kangaroos, quokkas are marsupials, meaning they carry their kids in a pouch, are very social and hang out in groups. They have no fear of humans and behave really friendly, which explains the huge amount of selfies with quokkas on Facebook, however, it's illegal to touch one. 
You can be fined up to 2000 Australian dollars and face prosecution if you pet a quokka. If that's a crime would you consider becoming a criminal, huh? Another fascinating fact about them is that these smiling happy guys are very manipulative. Their playfulness is actually just a clever deception. They literally learned what makes humans excited and perform those things to get snacks. One day quokkas and ducks will probably rule the world. Fennec Foxes The Fennec Fox is a small crepuscular fox native to the Sahara Desert, the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, and the Arava and Negev Deserts in Israel. Its most distinctive feature is its unusually large ears. And that's, along with their adorable eyes, what makes them so cute. These large ears actually act as air conditioners and help the Fennex to dissipate excess body heat on hot days. Their thick fur helps to protect them from the cold desert nights and their sandy coloration helps to reflect heat, and also provides excellent camouflage. And unlike other fox species, these are extremely social. These little foxes can be found purring like a cat when they are happy. And also, they behave a bit like active, playful little dogs, so, even though it's not that common, sometimes these tiny foxes are kept as pets. Would you get one? Leave the comments down below. Alpacas. These super cute, commonly confused with llamas, animals are species of South American camel and mammal. They're slightly smaller than llamas which totally makes them cuter. Oh, and a very important thing, alpacas don't usually spit. Sometimes they spit when they are in distress, fearful, or mean to show dominance and pretty often humans just get caught in the crossfire between two alpacas. They're very quiet and gentle animals and it's safe to be around alpacas. Some free-range turkey farms use alpacas to guard their flocks against foxes, since alpacas are extremely territorial and will accept the turkeys as part of their herd, defending them by chasing off predators. So, these are serious guys. Alpacas are livestock animals, this means that how they are treated as youngsters determine how good of a pet they make when they become an adult. They are curious animals, however, very protective of themselves but if you can earn their trust, the response you receive from them can be gratifying. Also, alpacas make a gentle humming noise when happy. Isn't that cool? Caracals. The caracal is a medium-sized wild cat also known as a desert lynx. These cute cats and their even more adorable kittens are well known for their long ears that have a black tuft on their back and beautiful eyes. Just like other cats, the caracal meows, growls, hisses, spits, and purrs. This wild unpredictable animal is an extremely powerful and strong predator, however, we should admit, the baby caracals are the cutest cat species. Hedgehogs. These guys do not need introduction. These spiky small creatures are pretty intelligent. A satirical political party in New Zealand even tried to get a hedgehog elected to parliament. The hedgehogs are very cool since they're immune to snake venom. Also, they are called hedgehogs for a reason. The hedge part of their name comes from where they build their nests, hedges, bushes and shrubs. The hog part comes from the small snorting slash grunting sound they make which is similar to a pig. These adventurous little guys are also good pets since they're pretty easy and cheap to take care of. However, they are nocturnal and noisy. And yes, they do bite. Tufted Deers And last but not the least is the Tufted Deer. This is Vampire Bambi. This cute little deer has fangs. Because the male's antlers are so small, the fangs are used to fight over territory or females. The Tufted Deer is a small species of deer with a prominent tuft of black hair on its forehead and fang-like canines. It's a pretty shy wild animal living up to 4,500 meters above sea level. They're very introverted during the day and become more active at night. So, we are wrapping up. Of course, this list could go on forever. Humans are the ones indicating whether or not an animal is adorable either by the factor of its appearance or behavior, or both, but regardless of the level of cuteness of an animal, we should remember to protect and take care of them. This is the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. Leave a comment below and tell us what you think about the cuteness of these guys and what animal you find the cutest. Thanks for watching and see you later.